Hey, what's up, everybody? We're playing um, God of War, um, Chains of Olympus on God Mode difficulty. So, uh, this is the Siege video, and um, I never tested this completely, but I think if you wanted, if you really wanted to, you could exploit this area and get as many orbs as you possibly want. Um, because you saw me a moment ago kick the ladder off of this uh, uh, platform, and by the way, there's a chest in here, a nicely concealed chest. Um, I think it contained, yeah, the fourth eye. Um, I, I stick around here for, 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 a, few, for a few moments and uh, kick the ladders off. Um, the thing about the ladders is that once you shove them off, they will, the enemies uh, will put them back up. So uh, this is, um, it kind of seems to me like this is a never-ending battle. And uh, your only real goal here is to go to the right and smash the, the boards that are in your way of that lift over there. But uh, make sure, if you want to go over here, make sure you block and then, uh, just, you know, block so they don't hit you while you're jumping because that will re result in your death. But uh, I, I would, like I said, I imagine that if you wanted to, you could just uh, kill enemies indefinitely over here. I'm not sure if the orbs would uh, expire because sometimes in God of War, when they, when they know you're grinding for money, like, you'll just start, connect, you'll keep killing the enemies, but you won't get any orbs. Um, but you will get, like, the, the, the bonus points for, like, the grab kills and the combos. So you, you can still rely on that. It's just that I, I'm trying to make this guide as honest as I possibly can and just get what I, what I receive at uh, the set points in this game. Um, that's just uh, my mindset. That's, that's the way I like to work. I don't like to cheat. Um, I only cheat when the game is cheating me, and whenever that happens, I expli explicitly go over why I have to do a certain thing. But uh, for the most part, this game is a fair game. It's got a couple of diff difficult boss fights, uh, of which we're going to be facing in the next video. But um, it's uh, God of War really, it really never cheats you. It's a, it's a great game, um, best franchise that I've ever played, and I, I just really enjoy third-person hack and slash titles. And uh, playing it on God mode um, is just, uh, it can be frustrating. Um, the, the main issue about God mode is that you're just going to die a lot because you take uh, tr a tremendous lot, amount of damage from the enemies. Um, uh, it, it, it's really apparent when you're fighting the boss in the next stage, um, who is actually very easy. But uh, dodging his projectiles, a couple of those, and you're, and you're just dead, and it's uh, completely unfair. But I'll be going into that in the next uh, video. So, um, so here's another area. This is uh, so. There's the there's the dude up there who we're going to be fighting, and uh, he spat out that woman who has a glinting um, little uh, part on her body. Just that just means that um, you can interact with her body. Um, so by interacting, that I just mean that we're going to be able to um, pick her up and move her onto a pressure switch. Um, just, you know, typical God of War stuff. Um, so there's also a movable block that you need to push, too, and I'll, I'll show you what to do. But uh, there are a finite number of enemies out here. Um, so just uh, dispatch these enemies, and you're, gonna, you're, you're always going to see me looking around every little corner. I try to minimize it as best I can by... Um, looking around prior to hitting the record button on my videos um, so a lot of the times I'll be at a save point and then I'll just investigate the areas uh, where I'm gonna be going and seeing what's you know what's where um, just so I'm not wasting anybody's time but uh, um, so that's that um, so there's the, the the box you need to uh, to be uh, moving along but you can't move it right now because there's enemies um, I mean you can but you're gonna get interrupted too much so uh, and the beginning of this game is not too difficult whatsoever, even on God mode. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Um, oh, okay. Um, a lot of the times, uh, enemies in this first part they can just be grabbed, you know, and it's uh, it's very easy in that respect to just be able to grab an enemy and have them be killed instantly. Um, you know, it's going to get a little bit more tricky as we move on into some other stages where enemies simply can't be grabbed. Or if they can be grabbed, um, they, you need like a quick time button press or something, or um, you know there's some other little contingency. Um, so there are a lot of tough enemies. The satyrs in this game are very tough. Uh, some of the soldiers too, when they're in groups, uh, they're very difficult. And um, so um, we slaughtered. Uh, we're about to slaughter this last guy here. 
and he is uh, he's going down. I was just checking to see how many um, if I could upgrade my blades. I would definitely recommend up upgrading the blades of chaos to level two by uh, by the start of the boss. Um, it's uh, very practical to do so, and uh, it's by no means. Um, hard whatsoever because there's plenty of orbs F providing you've got all these chests and broke all the objects and slayed everybody um, there's there's no real issue of getting the blades up to level two um, I do want to mention that, uh, it, that uh, when you're pushing these blocks you have to hold R1 and then kick it with the circle button but it's different in God of War Chains of Olympus um, uh, it differs from God of War 1 um, so, so you see how I shoved it away from me right there what you do is you hold the R1 button and then you charge your kick with the O button but unlike God of War 1 where you release the O button in this game you have to release the R1 button so it's a little bit you have to adjust to it so uh, so just grab it char so just grab it hold the R1 button down um, and then hold the circle button down until he's finished with his little growl that he does and then uh, as you're still holding the O button release the R1 button and then you will kick it so um, I was uh, I got really frustrated actually um, because I was I had recently played God of War 1 or God of War 2 or something where it was completely opposite so that's how that works so we are gonna drag this or carry this body this course over to this pressure switch um, Excuse me, not the pressure switch. I'm just going to place her body next to this door here and then um, backtrack and move this block onto the pressure switch over here. Um, I think I got the kick just right. So, so but, yep, that was perfect. <laughs> so just pick up her body and then um, there's going to be one other pressure switch to just place her body there. And then that door opens, and then you have some breakable objects over 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 here, including one um, jar right there. Smash! And um, heading on into here, there's no more enemies to fight. There is a treasure chest over here, but I did I did want to mention before we start the boss and before the video um, for the boss starts, um, I would definitely recommend um, opening these two chests right here first. Uh, not really first, but just open these two chests, break all the breakable objects over here, um, and get this treasure chest uh, up up ahead. See this one right here, and uh, because the checkpoint is right um, right by the save point every time, and you're gonna die a lot on this boss unless you know you know how to do it exactly. But I would recommend um, even opening the door, um, doing the quick time event, opening the door, and backtracking and saving it, so you don't have to do this every single time. It'll save it'll save you so much hassle. 